Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I will be covering where to farm Oxium inside of Warframe. Now, Oxium is... I decided to make a special video for it because it's one of the rarer resources inside of the game. And you get it from Oxium Ospreys, which you can see on the screen right now. These enemies spawn rarely in Corpus style sets, and they are really tricky to get. Now, you get Oxium from them, but you have to kill them to actually get the Oxium. If they self-destruct, well, then you get nothing. So... It is quite tricky and it is going to be very very tedious to actually get Oxium. Now, before we start and you know, for me telling you locations, a couple of first things that I want to tell you. Uh, resource boosters give you, you know, double the resources. The resource chance booster, if I'm correct, does not work because it is dropped from enemies and not just, you know, around uh, I guess dropped around in the world. Now, uh, using Warframes such as Korra, Necros, Hydroid, or even Atlas, but I wouldn't recommend it, is going to be very good because it is going to increase your drop chances. Now, I do prefer Korra myself. I do love that feature that you can place two Strangle Domes in a certain area and just, you know, kill enemies with that and, of course, get double the loot. Hydroid is pretty good as well, but... I'd still prefer Korra, to be perfectly honest with you, her kit is much, much better. If you do it in the Steel Path, you have higher chances of getting resources, so you can do that. Uh, the missions at the background at the moment, and a uh, little bit later on, is done in just the normal gameplay, so, you know, anyone can get uh, Oxium pretty easily. But if you want, and you have the Steel Path unlocked, you can definitely do this in the Steel Path. Now, that is mostly it kit-wise. Weapons, you can only use anything you possibly like. And uh, a pretty simple range and pilfering strangle dome core build would work. I would show it, but honestly, yeah, I don't need to because just do it with range. Mostly a little bit of power strength, a little bit of duration, and just have the pilfering strangle dome uh, augment. And then you're pretty much set and then you can go farm. So, the first one is going to be Neptune the Spina. Now, this is the gameplay that you've been seeing for the past couple of minutes and that you're going to be seeing at the moment. Honestly, a couple of... Uh, one more tip that I forgot to say, play it with the squad because more enemies spawn if you have more people, of course. And, you know, having a Speed Nova, Necros, and then a Core, and maybe like some kind of a support Warframe like Wisp would be good. And then all you have to do is just protect the excavators and you know you're virtually hitting two birds with one stone here you get uh, cryotic which is pretty good you get 400 endo sometimes so really really cool actually mostly three birds then and then also of course oxium now you in the gameplay i don't gather much that is mostly because i am playing alone and uh, that is one of the reasons that i don't gather as much now uh, you also have uh, two nodes on pluto which is the outer thermos node which is on the defense mission and then you can do palace which is a survival mission so do each one if you want to and test it out maybe maybe you have more luck than i do and it always is luck based now the best the possibly best location that i found out for farming oxium is going to be ion jupiter because in this location a lot of oxium ospreys spawn per wave i think it's around four or five and if you have a core you will see me in the gameplay using cora of course uh if you if you have a cora you're going to be able to get a decent sum of oxium here now, in the end of this mission, I gathered up 600, I think 650, I played for 10 waves, so that is a pretty good sum for playing 10 waves, considering I didn't really have a pre-made squad here, I was just playing with some randoms, so that was pretty good. This would have been much better, much faster if I had a Speed Nova, a Wisp, for example, and a ne I did have a Necros, actually, so if we had a Speed Nova, this would have been much easier, 650 uh, oxium per like maybe five minutes that is pretty decent enough now if i had a resource doubler booster i would have gotten 1300 so that would have been awesome but uh in general this is a really great location to actually farm it it's a pretty easy and simple defense mission uh the only thing is that i don't really use the correct build for my core in this video so 
a little bit more range would have been uh, better, but sadly I didn't have enough range. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, you also get Meso Relics here. So, for example, if a new Warframe comes out, or new Primed Warframe, of course, or Primed Weapons, uh, which they do come in bundles, so they probably will. If they come out in the Meso Relics, this is definitely the place where you can grind Meso Relics. This is my number one pick for Meso Relics and uh, grinding. Other than that, you don't really get anything special other than Hexanon, which is a pretty cool, uh, I guess, resource as well. You get Neural Sensors. I got around 20, I think, at the end of this mission, so that was pretty cool. Neural Sensors are a decent, decent thing to have, so, you know, you, you can never have too much of anything inside of Warframe, so, yeah. But, nonetheless... Ion Jupiter, definitely one of the best places. If you maybe know some better places for Oxium, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear them test them out and, uh, you know, maybe just update you guys on that. But, yeah, th this is where you farm Oxium. This is where I would recommend you farm Oxium. This has been the Gaming Weasel. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I see a lot of people who aren't. Subscribe! I, I try to make as many guides as I possibly can and as many build videos and, and possibly anything that you guys might come up with. Might start streaming soon as well if you guys up for it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and this has been the Gaming Weasel over and out. Peace.